So in this video, I'm going to go through a step by step process to help you shift your subconscious mind to feel like a powerfully attractive man or as I often refer to a sexy bastard. And if you stay to the end of this video, you are going to get a powerful process that in the next 30 to 90 days can radically shift your life. Now, with that said, let's dig in a little bit deeper to really shift your subconscious mind. It takes time. The, the energetic body or the imaginary self, the in a sense, the part of yourself you visualize, it's kind of like a blueprint for a building can change immediately. You can go change a blueprint instantly, but to change the building takes more time. There's more density in a building than there is in thought or imagination. That's the, a simple principle. So if you can really buy into this principle, you can really believe it, you can commit to it, then you can have any change you wanna have. You just gotta be willing to stay consistent to make this shift. So the first step in the process or the first phase in the process of shifting your subconscious mind to feel like a sexy bastard is the phase of commitment and journaling. Okay. So what I want you to do is go out and get yourself a nice journal to journal this process. And then I want you to commit. I want you to commit to 30, 60 or 90 days or 30 days at a time. And then comparing day one to day 30, then doing another 30 days up and then ultimately another 30 days up to 90 days. If you're willing to go the full 90 days, your life can radically shift. Now, if most of your life you have felt unattractive, you felt less than beautiful women, I mean, you haven't felt good about yourself, for 90 days, if you take 90 days to shift that reality, that's not bad, is it? The hardest part is usually the first week, two weeks. That's where the subconscious mind will fight the hardest. And then you, it will cause you to want to quit. So you have to be cognizant of that first few weeks. The next hardest part that will come after that is after you start to get some results. When you start to feel better about yourself, when you start to feel good and you get comfortable and you're no longer in the pain, it's very easy not to continue the process to greatness, to becoming the best version of yourself. Because I'm comfortable now. I, I can get to that tomorrow. I can get to that another day. I'm not really hurting. And I've seen this with many clients that want to be excellent. A lot of clients, they do the hard work in the beginning, then they start getting a little bit of what they want, and now they're kind of satisfied. Some of them fade away, and that's, that's their life. That's what they want. They want to just be okay. Other ones might take a break for a bit and then enjoy that new stage of being and then suddenly want to skyrocket to the top they get that realization that they've got to stay motivated they've got to stay hungry and they radically start to shift their life they become the most powerful versions of themselves and those are the clients i really love to watch and then there's other ones that just don't stop through the whole process they're focused on the goal they're going to get that goal they're hungry so decide which client you're going to be right now and make that commitment have reminders all over the place to remind yourself you're going to do this practice consistently for at least 30 days, preferably 90 days, and you're going to get the goal. There's a decision that's made inside and there's an expectancy that's created from that decision. So again, make sure you have that journal, have it ready, have it nice, invest in a good journal that represents you, keep it close by. Now, what are we gonna do with that journal? That journal is going to first have an acceptance process. You have to have the courage Think of uh, my emotional scale and revealing apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride, and then courage, which is the gateway to the good feeling emotions, acceptance, love, and peace. It goes from heaviest to lightest. If you start with courage, the idea that you are going to develop courage to accept everything you don't like about yourself, to transmute it, then that is the beginning point with the journal. So on a daily basis, maybe three days a week, four days a week, on a regular basis, you're gonna find a nice consistency, maybe every day if you feel really good about it, you are going to write down what you're feeling about yourself that day. You can do it in the morning, you can do it in the afternoon, you can do it after approaching, you can do it before approaching, you can do it before and after approaching, and you're just gonna write down a few things, a few of the things that you are really averse to looking at or really attached to fixing. Now, remember that, you're really averse to looking at or really attached to fixing. So you'll write today's date, and in the journal, you'll write down your energy, how your energy looks. Does your energy look smaller, as big, or bigger than the women you're attracted to? You'll write down her energy. How does her energy look compared to yours? You'll write down other people's energy that might be watching you and, and looking at you, and you'll be getting this clear. You'll look at it. Within that, you'll start to write down what you're saying about yourself. You know, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. And the positive too. You know what? I am kind of handsome. I feel kind of good today. You know, I, I, I don't like myself, but I like the way I look. 
that could be something. So you write down the good and the negative. And with that said, you only need a few things each day. So you take, write down a couple things in each category, the thing that you feel the most, and then you're gonna move on. So now we've got uh, energy. It could be her energy, your energy, other people's energy, doesn't matter. And then what you're thinking about or what you're saying to yourself or what you're thinking. From there, you can take a look at the images you've got going on in your mind. Like, do you have an image of her yelling at you, people getting mad at you? Do you have an image of you uh, doing really well, succeeding, because these images are going to change with time. And then ultimately, this is what I want you to get to. I want you to get to the feelings you have in your body, the feelings and sensations. So what are those feelings? Sadness, grief, loneliness, hurt, heaviness in my heart, uh, uh, really tight feeling in my gut. That's what I want you to get to. And when you get to those feelings, that's where the magic happens. And I want you to write that down. Now, the next step is very simple. After you journal all this, and by the way, those feelings can feel really good too. It can be joy, it can be peace, it can be love. When you get those feelings written down in the journal for that day, then the next piece is really important. You're gonna learn to accept them, not make them right or wrong, good or bad. You're going to learn to ultimately release them. This is where the courage kicks in. When you have the courage to look at what you're feeling, look at the images, look at your energy and say, this is neither good nor bad, right or wrong. This just is. This is who I am today. Can I fully accept this? Do I have the courage to fully accept that this is who I am today? This is the way I look. May not look like this tomorrow. May not look like this yesterday. I'm changing every day, but this is who I am today. And you can say, is this right or wrong, good or bad? No, it's none of that. It just is. I fully have the courage to accept it. It may hurt. It may make you cry. It may make you sad. It may make you happy because maybe that day you feel really fucking good because some girl gave you her phone number. And again, that doesn't mean anything. It just is. Just enjoy it. That's the key. So begin to accept it. Do this every day for 90 days. Learning to accept everything that you feel and see about yourself. And if you do this journaling process after approaching in the morning or at night, sometime throughout the day, you're going to begin to learn to see your emotional body, how you feel about yourself inside. You're going to learn to bring the inside out, which has to create transmutation. Now, the next part. The next part is also very simple. If the emotions get too intense, and I recommend you do this every day anyways, whether they do or don't, you're going to use a simple process to disassociate yourself a little bit from the emotions, but still feel them. And that's a self-hypnosis process. In the beginning, I want you to count down very slowly while put it looking up with your eyes. You're going to look up, close your eyes, sit and get comfortable, breathe, relax, and you're going to count down from 50 to zero. And you're going to pay attention to every count. The whole point of this is to keep your mind alert and awake while you relax. And the looking up while counting, taking a breath in between each count, will start to put you in a slight alpha state or possibly with time, a theta state, a conscious alpha, conscious theta, or a low alpha, which will help disassociate you from the pain a little bit and learn to release it a little better. What does this look like? It looks like this. It's very simple. You shut your eyes. You look up first. Shut your eyes and you start counting down from 50. 50. 43. <laughs> you can already see I'm starting to feel better. And with each count, the reason I'm pausing between each one is to take a presence check. Can I feel all my senses? Can I feel the moment? Can I feel my breath? And as you go down deeper and deeper, you're going to get more and more present. You're going to feel more of an alpha or theta state. And then you're eventually going to get to zero. And when you get to zero, you're going to feel much more relaxed. Then you're going to open your eyes again. And you're, again, you're going to accept all the things you wrote down, the good and the bad. You're going to let it all go. You're going to say, can I let this go? Can I look at this? Can I stop making this right or wrong, good or bad? Can I open my heart and stay present? If you start to feel yourself getting sucked down to heaviness, look up again. And then count down again. If you're already in it, just count down again from like five to zero. 
and then you'll you'll start to feel your body relax again then go back to it every time you start to get pulled into the into what you wrote and you make it personal do that process again now in the beginning you count from 50 to 0 it's going to take a little while but after about a week to 10 days you can start counting from 25 to 0 then from 25 to 0 you go down to 10 to 0 sometimes i just do 5 to 0 now and i go in pretty damn fast but in the beginning you need that extra count time Matter of fact, I would do it multiple times a day in the beginning just to practice anchoring my body in that state. So when I write stuff that hurts, I can learn to disassociate and let it go. And if you're really good at revealing, then doing the revealing from that state works even better. Now, the next step, the next step is super important. Write down your successes. If you felt lighter, write down that you felt lighter. If, you, if you're looking at something and it feels better now and you change the way you see it, you're not taking it personal, write that down. If you had a success that day, a gain, like a girl smiled back at you while you were doing the highs, write that down. Anything that your mind feels good about. I'm feeling lighter. I'm feeling more energy. I'm feeling a little turned on. I can feel my stomach more. Just write it down. Write down five things, three things, two things, just a few things each day. You can write down up to 10 if you want. And then do it again. Look up, relax, breathe, count down from like five to zero and just let it all set in. And then let it go. And if you want to take it one step further as a bonus, go back and watch my former video, How Bad Is Your Self-Image with Beautiful Women? And this video is a similar topic to this, but there's a guided release in there. And just listen to the guided release. Listen to the guided release every day if you can, every few days, every week after you complete this process or sometime throughout the day. And what you're gonna find is that guided release on top of this process is really going to weed out the insecurities in your subconscious mind. It's gonna change who you're being at a deep, deep level. And that is going to have a huge impact on your life. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And remember, only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Also, I want to invite you to check out our events page, thefearlessman.com slash events. If you want to learn more about events like these that help you shift your subconscious mind and your reality to become the best version of yourself. We have the Fearless Experience, our flagship dating workshop that puts you in the room with the models doing this deep work live and in person with video feedback, helping you to shift your reality right then and there. If you're going to say, how are you? Connect here first. And I want you to feel the connection with the eyes. Connect. When you've got that connection, you feel a little bit of tension, a little bit of vulnerability, then it's, hi, how are you? Hi. Or, I love your hair. You see that? Yeah. Okay. And then we have the Revealing Process Live coming up, which is an online live event you can do from the safety of your home where you learn more about principles like these to help shift your subconscious mind.